Welcome to the ATAS channel. In this video, we'll talk about the Smart DOM, or Smart Order Book. This is a multifunctional module that is especially useful for exchange scalpers. The Smart DOM can look like this. Simple, classic, or like this. In its maximum configuration. It all depends on the settings you choose. And this video is all about those settings. Next, We'll review the columns, settings, and features of the functionality. Since there's a lot of information, the review will be split into two parts. In the first part, we'll cover the basics, and in the second, the latest updates. The Smart DOM module is launched via the corresponding button on the main panel of the ATAS platform. At the same time, you also need to precisely specify the particular trading instrument and have an active, reliable connection to the exchange with data of sufficiently high quality. A brief overview of the Smart DOM module interface. It is organized in the form of columns. Above the columns is the top panel. Here, you can select the account, order volume, access protective strategies, and other functions. Below the columns is the bottom panel, or footer. Here, you have convenient access to buttons for trading, centering, and other important options. We will look at the columns themselves and their specific functions a bit later. The settings window can be opened via the gear icon or through the comprehensive context menu. By the way, through the context menu, you can add all possible elements to the lower part of the order book, as well as enable designer mode to create a unique interface yourself. All available settings for the Smart DOM module are divided into three tabs. The Templates tab stores previously saved settings, which is convenient and practical for working with different strategies, markets, and visual preferences. The General Settings tab contains settings that are meant to be applied to all columns at once. Let's briefly go through them. The Trading Functions section. Here, you define the logic for working with the mouse when placing orders. And there is also an option for automatically canceling existing orders when closing a position. The Stop Order Settings section. This section allows you to adapt your trading to slippage that may occur in the selected market. The Visual Settings sections. They contain important values for various display parameters, which, let us strongly emphasize once again, are applied to all columns across the entire display at once. The following sections below allow you to minimize the display of trading volumes, configure the order book's auto-centering parameters, set the depth of the displayed data, and adjust the update frequency of the information. You can read more about the meaning of all the parameters in the general settings of the Smart Home module and about working with Smart Home module templates in separate articles in the knowledge base. Links are in the description. Now, let's move on to the Column Settings tab, which is the focus of this video. The full set of columns that can be displayed in Smart Home is listed at the top left. They are divided into two groups. General columns are at the top, analytical ones are at the bottom. The list of columns already added to the module is located at the bottom left. To add, remove, rearrange, or configure columns, use the corresponding buttons. It is important to note that the very same column can indeed be added more than just once, providing great flexibility Furthermore, you can conveniently use your mouse to swiftly add columns with a simple double click, and you can also easily drag columns either to the left or to the right. An extremely important point to consider. On the General Settings tab and the Column Settings tab, there may be identical parameters, such as specific colors or particular fonts, but the setting for a specific individual column will always take absolute priority. If you set a specific column's setting to its default value, then the corresponding value from the general settings will be automatically used. The advanced ATAS platform will then ultimately use the value that is precisely specified in the general settings. Next, let's go through the settings for each column. First, we will thoroughly describe each individual parameter. And since many columns contain identical parameters, we will later omit them to avoid unnecessary repetition. Price. This is a vertical price scale. It displays the price of the last trade, as well as the size, direction, price, and balance of the open position. The general settings section is typical for other columns as well. Here, you can set the horizontal alignment, specify the column width, and define both the background and font colors. 
Below this section, you are able to set a name for the column and also configure its mouse behavior. The ruler parameter determines how the distance from the current price point to the entry point of the position is measured. The current day setting allows you to highlight the price for the current day with a background color. The last trade setting enables the display of the last trade. In the price section, in addition to the color of the average price, you can specify how many digits are used to display the price value. This allows the order book to look more concise. In the PNL settings, you can set the colors for displaying the position status. If there is a position, profit is shown in green and loss in red. Best price enables the display of the best price, which can be useful for some illiquid markets, for example. Bids. This column clearly displays the total volume of buy orders placed at each specific price level below the current market price. This allows you to accurately assess the demand for the current instrument. An important feature of the bids column is that clicking on the column sends an order to the exchange. The specific order that will be sent depends precisely on where you click, whether it's above or below the current market price, and also which particular mouse button you choose to use, either the left or the right. This important behavior is primarily determined by the simple order placing setting. To avoid confusion, the ATAS platform provides hints. With the help of a filter, you can highlight large volumes with a specific color, as well as enable the display of the best price. The column settings offer three modes. The volume of buy orders placed, the number of buy orders placed, and the average volume, which is the ratio of volume to the number of orders. But there's a nuance. Will mode two and mode three work? It depends on the completeness of the source because not every data feed transmits this information. You can also enable or disable the histogram display in the settings, set its color, and adjust its alignment. In the header section, you can enable the display of the total sum of all bids in the column header. And at the very bottom, there is a prominent button to confidently submit a market buy order. Asks. The settings here are similar to the bids column. The only significant difference is that here, detailed data about sell orders is clearly displayed. This is known as the bid and ask ladder. This particular display may be much more familiar to some experienced users, where both bids and asks are commonly shown in a single organized column. Many of the settings here are similar to those already described for the bids column. There are three modes. The ability to highlight large volumes using a filter. A visual histogram display of data, turning the best price display on or off. It's also worth noting the extensive options for customizing the colors of all column elements, as well as the trading capabilities. By simply holding down the VE button, you can effectively work with various stop orders. This particular feature serves as a valuable additional functionality to the standard and familiar method of placing limit orders with the left mouse button. Furthermore, the helpful ATAS tooltips are designed to assist you in avoiding any potential confusion or misunderstandings. My orders. This particular column clearly displays all user orders, if any, are currently present. In addition to color settings, note the checkbox that enables drag and drop mode, allowing you to conveniently modify orders with the mouse. That is, essentially, dragging them between levels. The button with a cross at the bottom of the column allows you to cancel all existing orders. Columns, My, Buy and Sell Orders. These two particular columns are almost completely similar to the My Orders column, with the only significant difference being that they specifically display existing buy and sell orders separately and distinctly. Q. This column clearly displays the total volume of orders that were placed before the orders placed. However, there is no guarantee that the exchange provides data for the Q of submitted orders. PNL and Orders. This is a column that effectively combines the display of existing orders and the position result. In addition to the standard settings, which include colors and the column header, you can choose how the result will be displayed, in money or as a price difference. Enable the ability to drag orders between levels with the mouse, as in the My Orders column. 
Enable the display of the last trade. Enable the display of the order queue if this data is correctly provided by the exchange. It should be noted that the PNL orders column helps you keep track of orders that are placed far above or below the current price. The button with a prominent cross at the bottom allows you to quickly cancel all your existing placed orders with a single click. LTQ. This particular column clearly displays the volume of the very last trade, and its color distinctly indicates the price movement, green for an uptick and red for a downtick. This concludes our overview of the settings for the columns in the general group. Now, let's move on to the more analytical ones. The histogram profile. This particular column displays data on total traded volume, the exact number of ticks, and the overall volume of market buys or sells. The checkbox at the top of the settings enables or disables the display of the profile histogram. The interval parameter sets the time period for which the profile will be built. Type parameter. Here you can choose which data will be used to calculate the histogram. By default, volume is selected. The greater the volume traded at a level, the larger the bar on the histogram. But the same principle can be applied not only to volume, but also to bids, asks, delta, or ticks, that is, the number of trades. Next, in the histogram settings, you can carefully choose the alignment from left to right or right to left. You can also adjust the color settings, highlighting the maximum volume with a distinct color and highlighting the value area as well. And further down, you can easily configure the color display for the very best price, detailed information about the last trade, taking into careful account price changes, and a clear two-color indicator showing precisely how the price has significantly changed for the selected time interval. This functionality allows you to much better navigate the current market trend. At the very bottom of the column, there is an X button, a button for temporarily resetting the histogram, and the R button completely cancels the reset operation. This is useful if you need to quickly focus on your current trading activity with the ability to return to previously accumulated information without opening the settings window. Trades. This particular column is quite similar to the profile histogram that we just looked at. For example, you can also readily build a comprehensive volume histogram here, but there are also some fundamental and significant differences. Perhaps the primary one is that the trades column is focused much more intently on trades not originating from historical data, but rather on trades that are actively happening in real time as they continuously come in. In other words, this histogram displays information about trades that have just been executed. The dynamic aspect is significantly enhanced by the reset checkbox, which thoughtfully allows for the automatic clearing or a self-reset of all accumulated data after a certain number of minutes, as well as a distinct visual flash effect with an easily adjustable fade-out time. Another fundamental feature is the set of modes or types of information used for display within the column. In addition to standard volumes for trades executed at the bid and ask, you can also configure the column to display open interest, that is, the number of open positions in derivatives contracts, futures, or options. But only if this data is supported by the exchange. Trades that are executed within the spread, as well as trades that have occurred at prices above the best ask or below the best bid. In fact, such situations can occur due to what is known as slippage, which happens when a single trade is executed using multiple limit orders at different price levels, and they are often signs of a change in the overall market's character or direction. For example, during a reversal of a short-term trend. At the bottom of the column, there is an X. This is a manual reset button, regardless of the auto-clear settings. current purchases you see. This is another column with a dynamic display of information. Here, information about just completed purchases is displayed, and by default, the reset or auto clear mode is set to 2,500 milliseconds. If you activate this particular checkbox, only those specific values that already exist will be cleared. That is to say, if there is an impulsive upward movement, the purchase data will be retained, but if there is a pullback downward, they will be reset and start accumulating again from zero. 
Below are the comprehensive color settings, including a dynamic lightning flash mode with fading. The filter itself consists of two distinct settings that can limit the display of purchase trades to only those above or only those below a specified volume. At the bottom of the column, there is a button for manually forcing a reset of the accumulated data. Current Sales This column is almost entirely identical to the column with current purchases. The only difference is that it works with just completed sales transactions. Depth Change this column gives us detailed information about changes at the levels within the order book. In other words, it monitors activity related to the cancellation and placement of limit orders at each price level. This can be useful, for example, when tracking manipulations in the order book or searching for price levels that are of interest to other market participants. The settings allow you to specify which data to display, either asks, bids, or both types together. Add more detailed statistical information about changes in depth at this specific level. Set up a well-defined two-sided chart for adding or removing orders for an enhanced visual perception. Among other standard and additional settings, there is an X button at the bottom of the column to reset all the accumulated data. Notes. This is a dedicated text field for each individual level, where the platform user can make arbitrary comments or important reminders during their analysis and trading activities. It's quite simple, but proves to be very useful and highly effective. The heat map, or liquidity map, is a feature that may be familiar thanks to the DOM levels indicator. Essentially, it's a heat map integrated into the order book, making Smart DOM even smarter. Without delving too deeply into the details, let's note that here the best bid and best ask prices are shown with green and red lines, while circles represent the flow of executed trades. The size of the circle is proportional to the volume, and the color indicates the trade direction, the liquidity map, or levels of limit orders. For their comprehensive configuration, you can readily choose a specific color gradient, meticulously adjust the contrast and overall sensitivity levels, and thoughtfully set various other color options. A much more detailed and dedicated video, specifically focusing on the intricacies of the DOM level's heat map, can be easily found on our official channel. Order Flow this column displays a chain of just executed trades, visually represented as circles. Essentially, this functionality may already be familiar to you from the order flow indicator, which can be added to the standard price chart. In addition to various visualization parameters, such as choosing the color, font, and display shape, you can set a filter in the settings to focus on large trades and hide the smaller ones. Well, the video turned out to be quite long, but we did our best to make it useful for those interested in flexible and multifunctional tools for analyzing market activity, which are available on the ATAS platform, but that's not all. In the second part of this presentation, we will review the very latest updates and enhancements to the powerful Smart DOM module. And if you have any specific questions or inquiries about the valuable material you just watched, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching.